Cyberbullies. What makes them tick? Mentioned earlier in this course, bullying is unwanted, aggressive behavior that involves a real or perceived power imbalance. The behavior is repeated or has the potential to be repeated over time. Mobbing is similar to bullying. However, mobbing is broadened as ganging up by the individuals who systemically collude to behave in mob-like behavior. Davenport, Disler, Schwartz, and Purcell Elliott, 2005. While bullying can result from a one-on-one -on -one exchange, mobbing generally includes two or more individuals. Bullying and mobbing are characterized by detrimental outcomes as a result of physical and or psychological behavior on the part of the bully toward the target. Bullying could also be defined as actualized arrogance that affirms the power needs of the abuser and takes advantage of the vulnerability of the victim, particularly when there is a lack of support that leaves the target feeling isolated and exposed, often with lasting consequences that include damaged self-esteem. Bullies feel contempt for their targets, often considering them to be worthless, inferior, or undeserving of respect. Signs of contempt for another range from disregard to scorn or hate. Bullies exclude isolate, segregate, or bar targets from participating fully at school, other social environments, or in the workplace. They view themselves privileged to control, dominate, and subjugate others. Also, depending on their worldview, they have acquired intolerance for individuals and situations that do not share their particular beliefs. Consequently, targets who do not subscribe to their way of thinking are not worthy of their respect. Bullies have the power to exclude the target victim who is viewed as unworthy, the feeling of entitlement and privilege to control and dominate another person, intolerance for differences. In other words, difference means inferior and not worthy of respect. Given certain circumstances, anyone can morph into a bully, but some people are more predisposed to it than others. Aggression is a basic biological state in humans, and certain factors can increase levels of aggression beyond acceptable norms. High levels of testosterone in men, for example, can encourage aggressive behavior that inflicts harm and leads to antisocial behaviors. Higher levels of testosterone have been found even in preschool bullies, Bean 2008. In addition, when humans perceive threat, their arousal systems go into action and prepare them to defend themselves through aggression, withdrawal, submission, or freezing behaviors. Fear drives many people to behave poorly. When bullies feel threatened, their arousal response normally operates at the aggressive or withdrawal level. Threats aren't perceived as physical. Many of their perception depends on how transference, a psychological process that triggers an unconscious response when prompted by sensory stimulation. Transference prompts an unconscious reaction to someone because of what a person, in this case the bully, needs to see in order to feel less threat, fear, and insecurity. Bullies project characteristics onto another person even when they know very little about their target. Transference is a psychological projection usually caused by unmet emotional needs, neglect, seductions, and other abuses that occurred in earlier life. Transference causes bullies to misread someone and then react negatively. Projection is placing feelings, emotions, and or motivations onto another without recognizing that the self-made projections are truly about the individual projecting. Real or perceived threats become stress, prompting heightened arousal within human beings. Heightened arousal can trigger survival reactions. Stress can be positive or not, depending on how it compels us toward or away from something. When bullies perceive someone as a threat, their arousal system becomes heightened and their survival reactions are either to become aggressive or to avoid the person altogether and they may use underhanded methods to target their victims. Most bullies are not socially isolated. They normally have at least a small group of friends who support and or encourage them. Many bullies have strong family ties, are active in their communities, 
and do not necessarily have low self-esteem. People who are both victims and bullies are at higher risk for young adult depression, panic disorder, agoraphobia among females, and suicide among males. Individuals who are only bullies show a risk of antisocial personality disorder. A bad temper is a characteristic of childhood bullies, and unless harnessed, child bullies can grow up to be impulsive and explosive adults as well. When bullying behaviors are practiced and reinforced over years, it is very difficult to change those behaviors. Conformity plays a large role in the current bullying culture. In other words, if someone is not capable or willing to adapt to the majority's view, meaning the controlling view, that someone can be perceived by a bully to be a threat. For this reason, many children, youth, and adult targets are people who happen to be more non-conforming types. Jealousy drives much bully behavior. Bullies are often motivated by besting someone who threatens them and are easily threatened by competition or someone they perceive to have skills or physical attraction. Other factors that drive jealousy, including comparing another school or athletic performance, luck, family life, and likability with one's own circumstances. Revenge can also urge on bullying and mobbing behavior. Other bullies are just plain biased against certain cultures, personality types, genders, religions, and so on. Bullies emerge through social influences, particularly during adolescence through gossiping or spreading rumors about the target, manipulation, failing to communicate, other forms of intimidation, intent to cause pain or personal distress. Children and youth may be bullying others if they get into physical or verbal fights, have friends who bully others, are increasingly aggressive, get sent to the principal's office or to detention frequently, have unexplained extra money or new belongings, blame others for their problems, do not accept responsibility for their actions, are competitive and worry about their reputation or popularity.